What's up, y'all? Ali Shakur, Third Eye Jedi, back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about this Exodus movie. I made some notes here in my, my notebook, as I always do. So, I'm going to just work through these points here. Hopefully, y'all feel me. If y'all don't, hey, you know, it is what it is. Leave your comments below. So, my timeline has been blowing up with this whole Exodus movie thing. Uh, my first question is, why? Why is everybody so shocked at this? This makes absolutely no sense. We're dealing with the people who have completely whitewashed our history. Uh, they've washed, whitewashed it so bad that they've even whitewashed the deity, Jesus, and uh, his mother, Mary. If you go into Europe, you'll see pictures of the Black Madonna. We all know these images was black at one point. The other day I went to uh, Barnes & Noble and I wanted to pick up this book for my son that was about Egypt. I picked it up and all the images in it was of white people. And this was in Barnes & Noble and this was before this whole movie thing was coming out. This stuff is nothing new. Your history books is all whitewashed. So for y'all to be protesting one movie is absolutely asinine. It's absolutely ridiculous. We need to protest the whole entire system. But... Let me go ahead and just uh, act as if I'm going to play along with this whole thing, right? So, all right, fine. Y'all want to boycott this movie, right? Um, actually, hold on. I did have another point I wanted to make about why. Um, and the other thing is the fact that technically, if we want to go by what a lot of these black scholars are saying, white people are technically African. Whether you want to go by the Dr. Yakub story or the evolution story, either way, all life originates in Africa. So technically, white people have just as much rights to uh, these images of, of Africa and Egypt as we do, even though they're misconstruing the visuals. Also, we're not the ones making these movies, so how can we control what's in these movies. We're also not claiming Africa. We're not claiming Egypt as Africa. We're not even claiming the style of dress of our ancestors. All we rock is Nike and Polo. So of course they're gonna come take our culture because we don't want it. We're not representing it on our daily life. When you go over there and you deal with them Arabs in Dubai, they got million dollar cars, but they still got their same dress as their ancestors. You can't steal that culture from them because they live it every day. We not claiming it. I think the last brother that put out a movie um, about black people in Africa in a positive light was Eddie Murphy. And this was back in early 80s. And that was a comedy. So I guess the only way they're going to let you tell the truth about Africa is if you make it a joke. All right, so let's move on here. All right, so I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all want to boycott? Fine. I'm all I'm all for boycotts. I've been waiting for a good boycott. But we got to understand is that using the hashtag boycott Exodus is not going to do anything but increase their bottom line. It's going to increase their sales. Um, in marketing, what we worried about is something called brand awareness. And brand awareness says that people can't buy your product if they don't know about it. So what we're doing is we're actually going to be promoting this product and letting people know that this product is coming out. This product being the movie Exodus. So if I was working in the marketing department, I would uh, for Exodus, I would be pushing out through my Twitter and Instagram nothing but white images and pharaohs just to piss y'all off because I know y'all going to promote the movie for us. Um, next point I want to make about this movie is we wasn't going to see this damn movie anyway. Like, who was really going to see this? Ain't nobody go see Noah or any of these other movies that ever came out. This movie, these movies ain't for us. These is for white people to go see. We not, we know Moses wasn't white. Come on, like, get out of here. So we're going to boycott something we wasn't going to see anyway. So let's move on. Let's move on. So we're dealing with the boycott, right? And what I think is that we're aiming at the wrong enemy. The true enemy is 20th Century Fox. They're the ones that produced this movie. So technically, if you wanted to put out a successful boycott, what we got to do is attack the parent company, which is News Corp. But News Corp owns so much shit, that's probably going to be um, next to impossible. 
Uh, News Corp is a company that publishes books, newspapers. Um, you know, their popular newspapers are like, you know, the Daily Telegraph, the Herald Sun, uh, so forth, so on and so forth. Um, part of the Dow Jones magazines, some of the magazines that they own in their property collections, GQ Australia, they own Vogue. Uh, music and radio, of course, is Fox. Of course, we know about, uh, you know, they own 15% of the Colorado Rockies. They own several studios, production studios, uh, broadcast, satellite TV, ca cable TV, talking about, you know, Speed Channel, uh, National Geographic, Nat Geo on cable. They own 49% of the Yes Network, so that's dealing with the Yankees and the Brooklyn Nets. And whatever else comes on that channel. So you'd have to boycott all of that too. As well as internet properties that include uh, Hulu. So if you have a Hulu, you'd have to cancel that. So, alright, so let's say News Corp is a little bit too high because they own too much. So we're going to come down, we're going to attack the people that are directly related with um, boycotting this. And this is Fox. Fox is a company that we know, we know for a fact, is racist. We've seen it time and again. How like how many times? Even when Barack Obama won the previous election, you know, uh, Fox was blatantly saying, "Oh, we don't think this is accurate, huh?" Like, come on, like, and we all know that they that they racist. See, the issue here is, um, we don't want to boycott anything that's going to damage our lifestyle, which is why we'll pick Exodus. I don't even know who chose to boycott this movie but i'm sure it's somebody not on our side this is to distract us um but you know if you were to try to boycott fox that means brothers will have to stop watching certain football games on sunday that's going to be a really hard task <laughs> you know what i mean uh if you watch that new show orange is the new black i believe that's produced by Lionsgate, which is backed by fox so um you know that's something else we'd have to boycott uh, but what I do believe is that if we are going to boycott because of this movie, we need to do a hashtag boycott Fox. Please spread the message, educate people, whether you educate them yourself, whether you show them this video, whatever it is, educate people and let them know it's boycott Fox, not Exodus, because we don't have no problem with that dumbass movie. That movie does not represent us. That movie is uh, based on fiction. What we need to do is boycott Fox, the people that are continually putting out these false images of our ancestors, the people that are continuously making black people look bad in the media, that are continually being racist. We have to hurt their bottom line. If you watch Hidden Colors 3, they spoke about this. We, we all know this, um, but we have to start hurting them where, where, where uh, we start, have to start hitting them in their pockets, I believe the saying is. And that's cutting off their money. So if y'all really want to make any impact, boycott the Exodus movie is not going to hurt their bottom line. It's going to help their bottom line. But if we were to boycott Fox as a whole, in that situation, we could really get people to pay attention. Because if we can convince a black dude not to watch football, shit, man, I believe we can do anything. <laughs> Ali Shakur, Third Eye Jedi. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Boycott Fox. Boycott Fox. Hashtag Boycott Fox. I'm not participating in no hashtag Boycott Exodus. That's stupid. Peace.